Shopify may have just changed the game for print on demand sellers and every seller for that matter. Let's rewind a bit. Shopify have just announced the layoff of 1,000 employees. That's 10% of their workforce. And as well as that, their stock has plummeted over 14%. Why? Well, like a lot of other companies, they got too excited about the pandemic rush of business startups and thought that wave would go on longer. When in reality, it didn't. And pre-pandemic shopping habits started coming back. That high-flying growth they were experiencing and hoping to experience for a very long time came crashing down. This could be why they brought out their new $5 starter plan. Either way, I don't really care why they've brought it out. I'm just really excited that they have brought it out and I wanna tell you about it as I think it sounds really cool and perfect for print on demand sellers. And no, before anyone asks, this video is not sponsored by Shopify. They have no idea I'm making this. I saw this new announcement and I couldn't find any information on it. So I did a whole bunch of digging myself and I wanted to bring you the details and my thoughts on this new plan and whether or not it's worth it for you. Oh, and if you like these videos, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button and help me get to 100,000 subscribers. So what is this new plan? This is their $5 a month starter plan, replacing what used to be their $9 a month light plan. They've removed a few irrelevant features like invoicing and card swiping, but they've added a whole host of updated features that are actually useful now. One of the main benefits with using the Shopify starter plan is that you don't need a full e-commerce website. The system allows you to upload images, add product descriptions and set a price. And that's all there really is to it. Shopify gives you a back end to manage inventory, but you can take those product pages and place them anywhere online, including social media. Therefore, you can post links to products on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter and other sites without ever having to manage a full e-commerce store. Now, this isn't for a business or a store that is quickly growing, which is why I thought it would be perfect for someone starting in print on demand. Using Shopify allows you to use different printing partners, one that will have much better profit margins. And if you want to validate an idea, it's quick and easy. But as well as that, if you have an idea that takes off on Amazon, Redbubble or Etsy or any other print on demand website, you can quickly make a product page for it with this new Shopify plan and have it on your social media where you'll most likely earn a higher profit margin. What's included? Support for an unlimited number of products and selling of those items. Check out with a built-in SSL certificate. This goes through a Shopify subdomain because there's no custom URLs with the starter plan. A customizable contact page to respond to customer questions. A shopping cart so that customers can put multiple items in the cart and buy them all at once. A social media link tool called LinkPop for monetizing all bio links on places like Twitter and Instagram. A Shopify inbox for handling communications and orders. Order management. The option to use Shopify's fulfillment network. And some basic sales analytics for measuring key performance metrics. And if you're thinking, wow, this sounds amazing. Well, no, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. It might only be $5 a month. However, the credit card transaction fees is 5% per order. Now that's a lot more than the 2.9% plus the 30 cents on the basic plan or the 2.6% that is on the normal Shopify plan. It might not seem like a very high percentage, 5%, but if you're selling a lot, it adds up. So I would recommend if you are selling a lot to move on to the basic plan or the Shopify plan where it's $29 a month or $79 a month. There's also no full website builder. There's no custom domain support. There's no discount codes, no gift cards, no abandoned cart recovery, all these things that you'd get on the other plans. And at the end of the day, it's perfect for you if you have a website already and need to add a few products, only have a few products to begin with, own a creator platform that you want to monetize or exclusively sell on social media and want to have access to e-commerce tools through WhatsApp and Facebook.
I think it's here for you to establish a customer base and see if there'd be demand for your product. If it turns out that there is, and you had a really good design, then I would recommend upgrading to one of their higher platforms like the basic plan and actually build a Shopify store. There's also a 14 day trial so you can see what it's like add a few products and share it to social media. And if you do want to try out the 14 day trial, there is a link in the description, which is an affiliate link. It's my affiliate link. Again, this video isn't sponsored, but it is my affiliate link. And if you haven't yet started a print on demand business, I highly recommend checking out this video where I go through every step to setting up your very own print on demand business. And I know it's going to massively, massively help you.